Now, what, what are some of you guys, um, some of you have some courage, and tell me what you're thinking when I make that move. Yeah, what if he grabs my leg? No problem, okay? Even skinny old me, old and frail, he can grab my leg, his, his arm is not gonna do much to my leg. Just think about the fight. He's fighting a leg with an arm, okay? So, there's still some manliness to, to the wrestling sport. He can come back. So when he grabs that leg, Don't have to believe everything that you feel. Oh, he's got my leg. Who says that? He's got my leg. <coughs> Who's ever said that in their own head? Yeah, he doesn't have any leg. This is my I'm gonna jump up here. Why do I put that foot up there? So what? Pressure. Okay, with my hips back, his hands are fairly light. With, with not much work, he can get his hands off the ground. Okay, but when I come forward here, that makes everything heavy. That's a heavy post that I'm creating. There's all kinds of weight on it. Then when I move across it, it just it crumbles. I'm going to collapse it. So I'm forward. He grabs for that leg. That's perfect. Okay? That's simple. Really simple. He, if he picks his hand up off the ground, I'm going to bust him down with my pressure. Okay? So that's... That's a false feel. Don't worry about him grabbing that leg. That floating Now, drill if I walk around here and I don't have mm -hmm. anchors, or I'm over this leg, or this mm -hmm. arm, I'm on the outside, I'm chopping, and then I run around, okay, and I don't respect the process, he grabs my leg. Yeah, now he does have a leg, because I'm over the top of him. But if I'm in my solid inside position, it, he's breaking himself down for me. From here. He reaches up. Bring him down. Here. Again, erasing those gaps. My, my back is, or my chest is heavy. I'm shoving his hips down. Gathering this wrist. Everybody with me? Now, let's talk about this. Let's get to the scoring hole. I want you guys feeling that inside chop. Up again, one more time. Okay, feeling this inside chop. So I'm running forward. I'm, me, I'm crying over this thigh to keep it still, to keep it locked in place. So when I move in here, that hand is so heavy, he can't pick it up. If I don't have weight on him, and I move this way, yeah, he's just gonna work with me. There's no weight on him. Okay? Weight's on my knees. I take weight off my knees, and I move against him. He can't move his knee, he can't move his hand. It's gonna collapse. So I take my wrist, here, okay? So now we've got an in, a near side or inside wrist, wrist trap, okay? From here, you, if you're a tilt guy, you can jump right to it. Slide across, tilt him up. Simple enough, okay? You wanna pull this arm out? Great, really solid position. Let's spend some time in this position here. I'm gonna show you. A handful of turns quickly, basically, and and uh, let you guys go work work on that inside top, and then this position here. Okay, bar on the back. First thing, look at my head position, all the way across. Some of you guys slide out here, and your your head's down here. Again, that's not enough pressure. A short sit and a limp arm. He's gone. I'm gonna ride him first, always. Then find turn. Get back. <coughs> Head across. Chest on his back. Okay. Pull this arm out. Right away, as soon as I pull it out, okay, I'm going to replace his arm with his shoulder on the ground with my knee. If I can get my knee under his chest, it's going to be real simple turn from here. Okay. But look at that that transition. I pull the arm out, I, I uh, put weight on this near knee so I can shove my forward knee under his shoulder. Here. <coughs> Here. Forward knee under that shoulder. Pulling this arm across the whole time. I'm pulling the arm so I can keep my knee under his chest and get some lift there. 
Did I see that? Pull to get that head and chest up. I slide that knee in. Now, all I really think is just stretch. Okay? Keep that arm long. Elevate slightly. Don't jerk the arm up and let the referee bail this guy out. You got in bad shape. Know what the referee's looking for. Don't let him do it. Okay? Don't give him a reason to blow the whistle. Keep that arm down. Elevate just enough to stretch. Here. Stretch that far arm pit. Now from here, gather that head up. Small movement. How much space have I given that guy? I don't. You guys are going to grab and then reach up over the head. Okay? I'm keeping everything tight. There's tension this whole time. Here, slide right. Elbow that head up. Wrap. Catch. Okay. Be out. So real simple. Thread that side. Assume that you can get that, that knee wedged under his shoulder. When I pull this arm, I'm teed out. My head's on the far side. When I pull this across, I'm going to jam my, my near side knee in there. Okay. Wedge it up under his chest. That arm pulls long, my hips are underneath me. Okay, that gives me some mobility with my head and chest. Bring the arm up just enough to stretch. Okay, do not let this guy limp arm over the top. Limp arm over the top. Uh, yep, keep going this way. Right. Okay, half Nelson's nice. That's good. Okay, but it's nothing like this snake suit. So, as I I'm, I'm tending this wrist the whole time. As I uh, thread, okay, I'm going to keep this thing blocked. Lift arm over the top, okay, not happy. Lift arm over the top, not happy. Here, okay. There. Does that make sense? So that's the first one, correct. Assuming I can get my shoulder under. Now, these guys that when you get on this wrist and pull it out, they get, yeah. And roll that hip down and shove that shoulder down. Okay, we felt this before. He throws his inside hip down really simply. Again, without any pressure. Everybody knows what I'm going to do, right? Everybody knows I'm going to claw, suck him back. We've seen that before. Okay, I didn't expect to trick you guys with that or surprise you. Okay, but what, what's going to make it effective is my pressure. If I pop up and go grab, Right, now he rolls his outside hip down before he clears the wrist. But if I can keep my pressure here, wrap it down, wrap it down. Okay. if I can keep my pressure here, I'm driving two points on the ground, I lace my, my claw first, now I slide across. Okay? Then I pinch this elbow to his body to get my, my chest here. So, I pull the arm out, he rolls his hip down, okay, shove, okay, he pulls those and his hips down, here, punch, deep claw, okay, now everything's clenched tight, there's no space, now I can, now I can uh, parallel up, over the top, pinch the arm, get my tail. He hips down. Yep. He hips down hard, throws his hips up in the air. Okay, I'm gonna go circle. Well, I'm not necessarily gonna circle. I'm gonna fish for this guy's head with my knee. Okay, my head's across. He's really driving that arm down, not letting him get anywhere. I'm gonna fish for that guy's head with my knee. Okay, and I hook it. Now I'm going to pinch and, and move my pressure this direction, okay? Down his body. If he pops his hips up, no problem, okay? No problem. Just keep popping up. No problem. Stay out here. Don't be scared. What happens here when that guy's hips come up? People get scared and they circle back around. That's all right if you're going to ride him out. But, you want to pin the guy. 
Okay, so, so get familiar with this position. I catch the head, okay, his hips come up. I'm all right with this. I'm gonna stay out on the head. I'm pinching, I'm keeping weight down. I might pull the butt, I might catch an ankle, the hold here, until I can pull this arm out. Now, if I just pull it out and start swinging with it, the guy's gonna live, he's gonna face. Right, things are gonna get real loose. So as I have this head hooked, I need to keep pressure across this guy's uh, shoulder joint forward. Okay, so I'm trying this arm forward. Okay, I don't want to jerk it out necessarily right away. If I pull it out, he, he drops his head from top of his head, right, then I do have to, to come back around and lock. So I'm going to keep everything tight here. Okay, I'm pinching that head. I'm keeping pressure. I've got a ton of pressure over this guy's shoulder, okay, without pulling it sideways, pulling it out, again, allowing the rest to stop me. So I'm pulling forward here, okay. Now, I'll bring it out, lace, okay. Same, that, that same threaded position. Do not, again, that, that limp arm goes across, I lose the position. Okay, so I'm pinching with my head. From here, I just swish her. And then my finish. Okay, so that guy throws his near hip down. Here, I start to pull out. He throws that near hip down, and, and a lot of guys will run their butt up in the air. Okay, that's all right. Okay, catch that wrist. Anchor forward. Don't catch the head. Pinch the head with my knees. Pull it out. Keep it low on the back. Thread. Swisher. Okay, so both of those thread positions. I pull the arm. Next one, I pull the arm on the back. Okay, he posts his hand. Start shoving back, okay? Here. Shove this hand on the, again, shove this hand and pin it on his body. If he's pushing hard on the ground, punch around, out wide, here, then around, okay? If I punch straight back, it's just, it's just arm on arm, okay? So I punch out wide. You get that hand off the ground, now I can come and catch. Okay, circle. Okay, so I'm driving, I'm driving down, he's shoving himself.